Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Easy Learning Economics. This is Dr. Carroll. Today we will talk about the factors or the determinants which affects on the elasticity of demand. So what are the reasons which causes the demand to be elastic or inelastic? The factors which affect the elasticity of demand is the availability of the substitute goods, proportion of the consumer income, the types of goods, whether the goods are luxury, necessity goods, or perishable or durable goods, addiction of the goods, time period, the level of consumer income, and the consumer loyalty. So these are the factors which affect the elasticity of demand. Number one is the availability of substitutes. So if more substitutes are available, then the demand will be elastic because the consumer can switch over to other substitute goods. If the substitutes are not available, then the demand would be inelastic. The substitute for salt is not available, so demand for salt is inelastic, whereas the substitute for soap detergent or sugar is also available so demand would be elastic substitute of sugar or saccharin honey can be used instead of sugar however it is necessity of life but the substitute is also available that's why the demand for sugar is elastic and uh, number two is the proportion of consumer income if more income of consumer is spent on the purchase of goods like car then the demand for that good would be elastic if less proportion of the income is spent by the consumer on the purchase of goods like salt then demand would be inelastic so the, the third is that the types of goods whether the good is luxurious or necessity of goods or the perishable or durable goods if in case of the luxurious goods like air condition refrigerator and the car then the demand will be elastic whereas in case of necessity of life like wheat rice the demand will be inelastic case of the whether the goods are durable or perishable when the goods are durable so the demand for that goods can be postponed like the demand for air conditioned refrigerator any a car that can be postponed so when the goods are luxurious the demand would be elastic in case of necessity of life the demand will be inelastic where the goods are durable the demands can be postponed so the demand will be elastic in case of the perishable goods the consumer is bound to purchase like vegetables fruits so the demand for vegetable and fruits inelastic and then number fourth is addiction of the goods when the nature of the goods is that they are consumer is habitual to use like cigarette, alcohol, wine, medicine. So the demand for that good will be inelastic. Increase or decrease in price will not affect on the quantity demanded by the consumer. So demand for medicine will be inelastic. And the time period. The time period means that short run. When there is a short run, the consumer has uh, no options to change his habits. So the demand will be inelastic. Whereas in the long run, as we know that the every cost is variable and the consumer more time to know about the product knowledge. So the demand will be elastic in the long run, while in the short run, the demand will be inelastic. And the sixth one is an income level of consumer. When the consumer is rich person, so the demand will be inelastic because that the consumer is rich and he does not care about increase or decrease in the seventh one is the consumer loyalty when a consumer have a belief that some brand is very good or iphone is good so he will not switch over other brands like q mobile or, or samsung a person believes in sony television so he the consumer have a loyalty in the sony television so he will purchase the sony television not the other lg or other things so what are the factors which affects the elastic demand and availability of substitute goods means this is the cross elasticity of demand means the change in quantity demanded of x due to change in price of y when the price of y increases the quantity demanded for x will increase the goods are substitute goods when the cross elasticity is positive 
it means the goods are substitute goods. When the cross last is negative, then the goods are complements. This is the proportion of consumer income. The income last year demand means that the change in quantity demanded due to change in income. Income last year of demand. And uh, price last year of demand means the quantity demanded increases or decreases due to change in price of commodity. So it's uh, price last year of demand. So if we summarize, we can say that the last year can be affected by the availability of the substitute goods, nature of goods, proportion of the consumer income and uh, consumer loyalty also affects the last year. The proportion of consumer income, level of consumer income, the time period so, and so on. So these are the major factors which affect the last year of demand. So thank you very much for watching. Enjoy easy learning economics.